Our other big story at 5, an intruder fights with two staff members inside a Waukesha Elementary School. The man also attacked a parent who was inside Lowell Elementary. Police eventually arrested that man. Yona Gavino live in Waukesha now with more on just what happened there, Yona. Yeah, Steve, you know what? Police are just right now trying to figure out how exactly this young man got in the doors of Lowell Ele Elementary. They say he didn't break in. So the question is, did someone buzz him in or did he follow someone in? We may never know why the 17-year-old got out of his grandmother's car, why he walked into the school and did what he did. Police say he's nonverbal and may be autistic or mentally ill. His actions sent the school into lockdown. Two hours after this happened, um, get an email with the subject heading lockdown, and that, as a parent, is your worst nightmare. The school district says the unarmed teen assaulted two staff members who asked what he was doing inside the building. The teen then assaulted a parent in the front office. Waukesha police say he got back into his grandmother's car. She had no clue what happened until police told her. An email sent to parents says in part, students were safe in their classrooms and never in contact with the individual who was in the office. It's little consolation to this parent who's left with more questions than answers. I am worried for the future if their protocol um, is flawed as far as strangers entering the property, they need to revisit that policy. They also need to revisit how they inform parents. And we've learned today from Waukesha police that no criminal charges will be filed. Uh, police right now are still working to get this young man treatment he needs. Live in Waukesha, Yona Govino, today's TMJ4. Yeah, perhaps there will be a few policy changes. Thank you, Yona.